All right, everybody. So today we're going to be looking at a lesson with decimal fractions. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with this, with this lesson, in Montessori we call decimal numbers decimal fractions because we relate them back to all the fraction work that you lovely children have had already. So in order to do this lesson, you have to have had the intro to what decimal fractions are, which is where we took all of the, the unit, we split up all the pieces, and we learned what tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and millionths were. You have to have had the intro lesson to how we write these numbers, how we read these numbers. So those are the three things you have to have had before you can work on this one. I will be making videos of that as well, uh, but I wanted to start here because I know I have some people who definitely need that um, need this practice. So we have our number cards, which you've seen before, and we have our cubes, which you've seen before. This part might be a little bit new. So on this board, we have units here, and we have tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, just like our WHM. And then we have our tenths, hundredths, thousandths, hundred, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and millionths. Okay, you hear the th we're being fancy lizards, remember? It's important because you can't say tens because that means this. If you're talking about tenths, you need to th on the end there so that we don't think you're talking about tens. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can make a number on this board. So I am going to take my tickets and I'm gonna make a little number here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, do the magic slide. And this is our first number. I'm gonna put it right here. We need four tenths, one, two, three, four, six hundredths, two, three, four, five, six, and two thousandths. There, so that's our first number. I'm gonna make a second number. Mm -hmm. Two, and nine. Magic slide. This is our next number. We need two tenths, seven hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then, ooh, nine thousandths. A whole bunch of these. Ah, big hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Okay. And we are going to add these two numbers together. All right. Cool. Now, in addition, we always start with the baby. Which one of these is smaller? Tenths, hundredths, or thousandths? Now remember, this here is like taking your whole circle from the fractions and cutting it into 10 equal pieces. Hundredths is taking one of those tenths and cutting that into 10 equal pieces. So now imagine your circle with 100 equal pieces. So having 100 equal pieces compared to having 10 equal pieces, which ones do you think are gonna be smaller? The hundreds, they're gonna be real small, okay? But we wouldn't even be able to put a little knob on there. So the hundredths are gonna be smaller than the tenths. Now the thousandths, it's like taking one of those little hundred pieces and cutting that into 10 equal pieces. So you have your whole frame that gets turned into tenths, so you have 10 pieces. Then you get your whole frame that's turned into 100, now you have 100 pieces that are much smaller, and now you have a whole frame that's cut into a 1,000 equal tiny pieces. 
So having the same size circle, only 10 pieces versus 1,000 pieces, I think you can think about that as a pizza. If you cut a pizza into 10 equal pieces, and then you're like, not, nah, we gotta cut it into 1,000 pieces, the 1,000th piece of pizza would be a lot smaller than the 10th. So we have to start with the smallest category, which in decimal fractions, or this side of the unit is, and in this problem, is the thousandths. So we're gonna push them together, and we're gonna count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now ten thousandths, we have to do some exchanging. So remember, we've cut a hole into ten equal pieces, and then we cut it into a hundred equal pieces, and then we took one of those hundredths, we cut it into another 10 equal pieces to get a thousandth. So 10 thousandths is the same as that 100th piece that you cut into 10 equal pieces. So 10 thousandths equals 100th. And I'm gonna exchange these 10 for this 100th. And it's important, you gotta take that out. You put away, gotta take something out, otherwise you're gonna get a kooky answer. So we're done here. Now we're going to add all these up, including the one we exchanged. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now hundredths. Ten hundredths is equal to what? Whoa, crazy cubes. You remember, we took our whole circle, cut it into ten equal pieces, and then we took one of those tenths, just one of them, and we cut it into a hundred equal pieces. So that means that 10 hundredths is equivalent to 1 tenth. Okay, so we're gonna take these 10 hundredths, put them away, and take out a tenth. So now when we push all these together, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tenths. So I'm gonna take out this number that we just made. Four hundred. Ooh, and one thousandth. I'm gonna do the magic slide. There. Okay, so some practice reading. We have 462 thousandths plus 279 thousandths equals 741 thousandths. Okay, so remember, when you go to read these numbers, you wanna just ignore the colors and ignore this. And if it was just a number written just like this. I'm trying to get a scrap piece of paper here. If it was just written like this, 741, this would say 741. Okay, so we would say that 741, but we want to know of what? This last place is tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this says 741 thousandths, 462 thousandths. 279 thousandths. The color is important for your last category so that you know which category it is you need to say. All right? Cool. Now this is something that you can write down as some of your math practice. I have a nice sheet of paper here. I'm gonna write it down, okay? Make sure you write that zero. 462 thousandths plus 279 thousandths equals 741 thousandths. Just like that. Okay? Let's do another one. Okay. So this time we're going to do 798 thousandths plus 479 thousandths. Right? So we need to first make our top add end. We need 8 thousandths. Four, five, six, seven, whoopsies, eight, nine hundredths. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then seven tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Then we need nine thousandths. Two, four, 
six, eight, nine, seven hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. It's really so hard to get out. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And four tenths. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I'm gonna push all of our thousands together because remember we start with the smallest. In this problem, it's the thousandths. And I'm gonna count two, four, six, eight, ten. We know that ten thousandths equals one hundredths. Those away. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So we're good. No more exchanging needed. Now we're going to put all these together, including the one we exchanged. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We know that ten hundredths equals one tenth. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Oh, seven again. Look at that. We're going to add all these together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow, 10 tenths. Well, if you picture again, you picture that fraction circle, 10 tenths equals one whole circle. So 10 tenths equals one, one whole, one, ooh, get the right color there and help, one unit. And remember, we represent units with the round beads. Okay, so we have to make this number. We have one unit, ooh, look, my two is right on top. Two tenths, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, dang, I'm already using my seven. Seven, and then we need a seven thousandths ticket. all together and what do we get one epic magic slide ah so let me show you how to read this one it's one and 277 thousandths this decimal point you say and okay one and 277 thousandths is our answer to this math problem. Okay, so we have our problem. So like I said, there's more categories here. Here, five and 4,839 10 thousandths, nine and 8,474 10 thousandths. Okay, so it's a little bigger. So I wanted to show you, you can go far back as you want. You can go far that way as you want. Add tens and hundreds, it really doesn't matter. You know, push yourself, try to give yourself, after you get some good practice, just with some basic stuff, give yourself some challenging problems, see how you can do. So I'm gonna set this out. So let's get started. Remember, we always start with the smallest category. In this number, in this problem, that's 10,000, 10 thousandths. So two, four, six, eight, 10. 10, 10 thousandths, whoa, cubes everywhere, equals one thousandth. I'm gonna exchange that. I have three left. Now we're gonna push all these together, including the one we exchanged. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You know that ten thousandths is equivalent to one hundredth. We have one left over. Now we're gonna get all of them together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We know that a hundred, sorry, ten hundredths is equivalent to one tenth. Push all these together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten tenths is equivalent to one unit. That we have three left over. Now we gotta count these. I'm gonna put, since these are circular, I'm gonna put them in this little lid. <laughs> so. I don't have to balance every single one of them. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten units is equivalent to what? One ten. Well, throwing beads. My hands really don't want to use small things right now. And then I'm going to put these back. I first have here. Okay. So, move my little exchange cup. Now we got to make our number. Okay, so we need the three. And another three. There are a lot of threes in this answer. And a one. And the thousandths. And then we need a thirty ten thousandths. So thirty thousandths. Where are you three? Oh, there we go. All right. All right, so here's our answer. We have 15 and 3,313 ten thousandths. Got it? Cool. So again, which way did the exchanging go? Which direction? That way, right? Good. Okay, go ahead, and make up some of your own problems. There is an attached, uh, decimal fraction board um, to the email I sent you guys. And there was other information about how you can make your own cards, things of that nature. So if you have any questions, email me, give me a call, and I am happy to help you in any way that I can. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day.